Behind me is the famous Hollywood sign, a symbol that is known worldwide for its connection to the glamorous lifestyle of the West Coast. The West Coast is known for many iconic places like this, places that represent extravagance, innovation, and beauty. But why is that? What makes the West Coast home to so many beautiful landmarks? From the misty shores of the Pacific Northwest down to the sun-drenched beaches of Southern California, this coast has long been a frontier of dreams, diversity, and defiance. But what binds these dreams together? How do the shared identities and collective experiences of its inhabitants define what it means to live on the edge of tomorrow? Welcome to Pacific Perspectives, a journey where land meets ocean, where art meets architecture, where culture meets cuisine, and where dreams meet reality. Here, along the ever-changing West Coast, we dive into the stories of unity, identity, and foresight, exploring how the spaces we inhabit shape us, and in turn, how we shape them. Pacific Perspectives is not just a series. It's an exploration of the unseen ties that connect us, the community that propels us forward, and the people and places that encourage us to look around corners, anticipating what lies ahead. The West Coast is a haven for artists and creative minds. Its streets transformed into open-air galleries where every wall becomes a canvas and every corner a stage for self-expression. The Mr. Brainwash Art Museum, like the West Coast, is a blend of different art styles and creative ideas. Their collection consists of modern art pieces that are very memorable due to their wild and eccentric styles that show the creative side of the West Coast that is so well known. Art is an eye of the beholder, so I mean anybody can create art. This is your perception of what you're seeing on a daily basis. Some might not appreciate it, but he brings this to the table on the West Coast. So a lot of people who are, don't have the passion for art and think they can't do it, kind of shows you here in the museum. The West Coast is known for its love for both creative and natural beauty. This exhibit shows the creative side in an impactful and colorful way. The West Coast is a hotspot for art galleries and local art shops. The current pop-up exhibition in the Beverly Hills building that was initially the Paley Center of Media is now the Mr. Brainwash Art Museum. Regardless of whether they are already in love with the city or just want to see what all the excitement is about, it is a must-see for both residents and tourists of L.A. Um, you know, I think art on one level was a way to literally bring color to everyday life. I think, too, um, was that art should serve the people. It should be easy to understand. It should you know, make the masses feel something, uh, feel inspired. A large-scale painting of a mask-wearing Mona Lisa that is prominently placed on the museum's side serves as a reminder to visitors that life is beautiful even in the face of adversity. The Mr. Brainwash Art Museum is a symbol of optimism and hope that shows, despite uncertainty, things may still turn out well. But it isn't just on canvases that art flourishes in LA. From the iconic curves of the Walt Disney Concert Hall to the timeless elegance of the Hearst Castle, architects push through the boundaries of design, creating artistic landmarks that captivate the world. For these visionaries, the West Coast wasn't just a place to live. It was a muse, a source of endless inspiration that fueled their creativity and pushed them to explore new horizons. Often for the viewer, um, you know, there's, there's nothing quite like the visual arts that really connects people to the experiences of the past. So um, I think in that way, when we view visual, something like visual art, like a painting or a statue, I think that too can on some level transport the individual back there as well um, and also can help someone compare and contrast their circumstances in the present day uh, with you know that of a person of the past as the seeds of the west coast identity were sowed 
so did its reputation as a melting pot of innovation and imagination, a place where the boundaries between natural and man-made beauty blurred giving rise to a new era of creativity. As the West Coast embraced its role as a diverse culture of creativity, a new wave of artists and architects emerged, pushing the boundaries of convention and redefining the very rules that govern over art and architecture. Meanwhile, architects like Frank Gehry were reshaping the skyline with their daring designs, challenging the notion of what a building could be and inspiring a new generation of artists. Frank Gehry, the architect behind the Walt Disney Concert Hall and the Museum of Pop Culture, redefined architecture by blending handcraft and digital tooling. He aimed to create a uniquely LA space that challenges conventional design. Gary's motivation reflects the dynamic essence of the West Coast, shaping iconic architectural landmarks that embody the spirit of music, culture, and vibrancy. But the West Coast identity isn't just about pushing boundaries and perceptions. It is also about sustainability and community. Architects and artists alike often embrace green building practices and collaborate with local communities to create spaces that are not only visually stunning, but also socially and environmentally responsible. Even the Walt Disney Concert Hall has an aspect of nature. The interior of the building has an openness and space for lush gardens. Gary's design exhibited a complete understanding of what a building on the West Coast should be. You know, when a building is designed to accommodate uh, these more community focused events, um, you know, it's a really intentional choice how they're laid out and what resources the architecture affords these groups uh, to bring them together in that way. And uh, in our case, to explore their own identities through those types of public programs. Since its construction, the Venice canals have served as a gathering place for locals and visitors alike, offering a glimpse into the rich history and heritage of the West Coast. It has an interesting history and has been in disrepair at some points, but the canals have returned to their original beauty. But perhaps most importantly, Venice Beach and Canals serve as a reminder of the balance between humanity and nature, a balance that is central to the identity of the West Coast. Whether it's through the history of repairing and turning a rundown beach into a beautiful attraction, or its vibrant and diverse culture, the Venice of America embodies the essence of the West Coast, a place where the natural world and human ingenuity come together to make the well-known West Coast identity. Like Venice Beach and Canals in LA, Vancouver is well known for its integration of the environment into daily life. A famous example of this is Stanley Park. The three main themes of Stanley Park are to preserve and protect the ecology of Stanley Park, ensure the st sustainability, and enhance Vancouver's livability through the enjoyment of the park. Stanley Park is Vancouver's first, largest, and most beloved urban park. It's a green oasis amid the urban landscape of Vancouver. There are kilometers of trails, including the seawall, the seawall is a fairly simple looking piece of architecture, but it embodies West Coast identity. It's perfect for a walk, bike, or run. It has a view of the ocean and the mountains, a place where you can admire the beauty of Vancouver. High above the sprawling metropolis of Los Angeles, Griffith Observatory stands as a beacon of scientific discovery and cultural significance. Beyond its scientific significance, the Griffith Observatory holds a special place in the hearts of Angelinos and visitors alike. In this place, people come to connect with the cosmos and with each other. The Griffith Observatory represents the intersection of science and art, curiosity and wonder, human ingenuity and nature. The view from the Griffith Observatory is a big part of what has drawn 70 million visitors.
The observatory has a panoramic view of the LA skyline and the best possible view of the famous Hollywood sign. The view from the observatory encapsulates the beauty of the natural world, the landscape of Griffith Park, and the beauty of the city. I mentioned the Hollywood sign earlier in this episode, but I didn't mention its history. The Hollywood sign, an iconic symbol of West Coast identity, emerged in 1923 amidst the blossoming film industry. Originally an advertisement for real estate development, it quickly developed into a universal metaphor for Hollywood's allure. Currently, the sign isn't an architectural masterpiece, but the design itself isn't what represents the West Coast. The Hollywood sign is a symbol of the West Coast's fame and is an enhancement to the natural beauty all around it. Whether it's the iconic landmarks that dot the skyline, or the vibrant communities that thrive along the coast, the West Coast's legacy of creativity is a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. This spirit continues to inspire and captivate the world to this day. The legacy of creativity lives on in the hearts and minds of every West Coast dweller, a community defined by its passion, resilience, and unwavering belief in the power of art and innovation to shape our future. The West Coast isn't just a place on a map. It is a state of mind, a way of life, and a source of inspiration for all those who are fortunate enough to call it home. And at the center of that inspiration, is the beauty that comes from the West Coast.